Now on GMA with a historic medical first. A gravely ill man receiving a pig's heart in transplant surgery this week. He's said to be doing well this morning. Ariel Russia joins us with the latest. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, Robin. That medical milestone performed just days ago, but already it is providing new hope and possibly paving the way for more cutting edge transplants. We've never done this in a human. This morning, surgeons at the University of Maryland cautiously celebrating an apparent medical breakthrough, successfully implanting a pig heart into a patient with end-stage heart disease. He's awake. He is recovering and speaking to his caregivers. And um, we hope uh, that uh, the recovery that he is having now will continue. The first of its kind procedure, 57 year old David Bennett's last chance for survival after he was deemed ineligible for a traditional transplant. His level of illness was um, probably exceeded our, our, our standards for what would be safe for human heart transplantation. For Bennett's family, new hope. It provided a level of hope, hope that he could go home, hope that he could have the quality of life that. Uh, that he so much desired. Physicians say the groundbreaking surgery shows that a genetically modified animal heart can function like a human heart without immediate rejection by the body. It is a game changer. We have uh, modified 10 genes in this, in this big heart. Uh, four genes were knocked out. Three of them responsible for producing antibodies that causes rejection. But the long-term outcome is still unknown. The pig heart will be attacked by different soldiers in our body. Different immune players can take it out and we have designed a treatment plan in addition to the humanized genetically edited heart to try to account for that. Bennett, who had been hospitalized and bedridden for months, saying in a statement the day before the operation, it was either die or do this transplant. I want to live. I know it's a shot in the dark. He's in a much better place and a much happier place right now. Following this transplant procedure, he is happy with where he's at, happy with the potential to get out of the hospital. It is good to hear. And Bennett said he also hopes to get out of bed after he recovers. Of course, doctors and nurses will be carefully monitoring his condition over the next days and weeks. Robin, we're wishing him well. We certainly are, Ariel. Thank you. Joining us now is our chief medical Doc, uh, correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton. So tell us, tell us how significant this is, Jen. Well, Robin, it's truly historic. Remember, the first heart heart transplant in the world was done in 1967. This is the first time a heart was transplanted in the world with a genetically modified pig heart. So it's surgically historic. It's medically historic. Why was a pig chosen? They're similar in size. The anatomy is similar, but it is not identical. And again, we heard that some of the genes that we know are responsible for, for powering a, a really strong rejection response mm. have been kind of inactivated. So uh, definitely historic in the yeah. world of transplantation. What are the risks involved in a surgery like this? It's really rejection and infection. Those are the risks with solid organ transplantation in general. They're elevated um, in this case for sure. And we don't want to say uh, this will not alter the need for organ donations anytime soon, will it, Jen? Uh, uh, no, it will not, Robin. Uh, there were about 41,000 transplants done in this country uh, last year, and approximately 12 people die every single day while on the organ transplantation waiting list. So whether it's 3D printing or growing organs in a lab setting or donation, we desperately need more organs. So this is a potential reason for real optimism down the road, many oh. years down the road. Many years down the road. Jen, as always, thank you. We're to check back with you in a little bit. Thank you. You bet. Michael. Boy, how amazing is medicine now? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.